holding this in balance vibrations family i trust you well vibing in resonance if you can take a breath with me in three two one inhale exhale thank you for joining me in a moment all right so right now it's a beautiful beautiful saturn day uh connecting to the moment day is like i said saturn's day so uh resonant colors of the day are uh, purple or indigo and black and the planet of resonance today is saturn so take that in reflection and balance vibrations i honor you and your manifestations with wholeness and balance vibrations coming to you through the frequency harmonic synchronicity through the receptors you feel the beat Vibrations of harmony, wholeness mm, and balance. Vibrations, I honor you and your manifestations with wholeness and balance. One Vibrations. singer, try. And today, uh, this like Saturn, it takes a while for its orbit to come around. It takes a while for you to. It gives you the opportunity, the patience to to learn through the experience. Of Saturn. Saturn is a great teacher, <laughs> an elder, if you will. And uh, today, changing one of the cycles in the oil, doing, some, doing a little oil change, and uh, in reflection of the totality of things. And when it's in resonance, you share what's in resonance. And just how I'm diving into doing an oil change, a simple routine practice you do every uh, what is it, uh, 3,000 miles or more, depending on your um, uh, the oil and the the uh the filters you're using and things like that um but you want to get in the habit of changing it so like like this i just recently did uh, a cleanse a water fast and i went after the car slide by mm. but a water fast where in this fast you are giving your body time to relax giving your body time to uh, really think of it as giving you giving some of your organs a vacation from digesting food on a daily where three times a day two times a day pretty much every day many people are, are eating something putting your body through that to that necessary work to digest break down and and give that convert that what you put inside into uh, usable fuel or energy and remember everything that you dispel out of your body be it sweating or defecation everything that comes out is stuff that your body could not use at all whatsoever and couldn't or it could not convert it at the rate needed to to give you the energy that you were looking for or that the food that you had or drink that you had were supposed to um that you intended for it to be so just be mindful of that so within this cleanse this water fast i did seven days and then uh i ate one day uh during the celebration and then i jumped back on another water or well, liquid cleanse after that and <laughs> liquid cleanse after that. So our planetary reflection of our gut is the moon. <laughs> and that is directly correlated with the gut, the dark side of it, giving us that uh, subconscious um, energy within getting those thoughts out. And <laughs> refocus. Hey! <laughs> so diving into that. Allow us to, with a reflection, of, oh man, okay. Allowing yourself the time or the wisdom to dial back into self and check those those boxes that need to be frequently checked. We're gonna be here for a while. We're infinite beings, multi-dimensional. So, understanding those cycles, those planetary cycles, those body cycles, those um, cycles that you naturally have, everybody, and really having a fine tuning of each one. So. A best practice is to fast frequently, uh, monthly, weekly if you can, definitely yearly, and give your body that vacation that it deserves. Because it's our vessel this time. This is our ship. This is your temple. And within the positive or negative, or the divine mother, divine father within self, honor your mother and father. The days might be long upon the earth. This is, a, is the principle that is. So important for you to keep the balance with itself. So with that being said, I'm about to get up under here and uh, get this done. 
and let some more thoughts come through while we knock this out. So. Alright, so smooth. Now I do my car. <laughs> Did hers first, now I do mine. But in the case of fasting and taking care of yourself, you take care of you first, your body, and then you have the energy to you have the fuel to assist others. So now you have an abundance of it. But first, you do your fast for you and your ability to communicate with the outside world by going inside first. So just unscrew this here, unscrew this filter. Cool. <sighs> Draining it down. All right, so, so yeah, as it drain, as you go through your fast, as you go through your cleanse, and I also have some, um, some diagrams on the screen too, so you can see the correlations with the body and different um, chakra systems within the body as well. And these are correspondence for self. And we talk about being sovereign. That's something we talk about. It's something we, we embody. Being sovereign means you produce your own. You're responsible for your manifestation. You take complete accountability for that. And when I say we, I mean the tribe. The tribe is in our secret energy, secret energy tribe, uh, led by, um, well, sparked by, ran by, and what's the word? Uh, Archite architecturally built by my supreme brother Savan Beaumont and we have a sovereignty mentorship program where we aid you and each other in becoming sovereign on the mental on the physical the spiritual and then the um, mental tip actually or as I, should I say on the spiritual tip first and then we know that spiritual that's the inward and then the external where we learn how to not go into any type of warships or warships because when you are polarized within a Pacific, a Pacific belief or a dogma if you will a religion if you will yours is the best and most of the time especially than Christianity uh, you want to convert others to kind of see your point of view your perspective your 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 God which leaves there to be uh, an adversary or an enemy for those who don't practice your ways. You try to convert them. You try to change them. No need to engage in any of that. Because again, at the end of the day, any of that, it's all war. Spiritual warfare. We know plenty, a plethora of uh, wars. Uh, spiritual warfare. You know, throughout our timeline. without Throughout history, human history. And no longer giving our power outside. Because the Supreme lives within you. You are the Supreme Being. You are uh, micro of the macro and vice versa by from different things within your body and you see that you all are connected in all itself so with that being known we tap into this from a multiplicity of angles mm -hmm. and this this gives us the ability to be the 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 judge or the supremes of our own life because then you have the wisdom but the wisdom is applied action. So we now know the knowledge, then we place that into action on the physical. And this is where the physical sovereignty comes into place, learning how to be a conscious entrepreneur, how to generate funds within yourself to feed you and your family and build your community. And um, also, again, by dialing into, you know, where is your water coming from? Where is your food coming from? Where is your, your power, your lights coming from? And how can you be the arbitrator of those or the source of those amenities. Like, uh, do you have some solar panels that you can you know, hook up, you know, get access to, so then you generate your own energy? Uh, are you getting water from a reliable place? Is your water filtered? Is it good water? <laughs> like, um, do you, did you, did you get, are you near, near a river? You know, do you have your own well uh, uh, pumping it up uh, from the ground? Um, 
food? Do you grow your own food? Do you have connections to someone who's growing the food that you know where it's coming from? All these are you know, pivotal aspects of your reality that you need to know to be to have ownership of that of the of self. And this is just a few things that we tap into within the tribe and we share with each other from learning how to um, engage in relationships, different types of relationships, uh, from work relationships to friends to family to to tribe. And, and what does that feel like to have people on your side that you can uh, just a butter text away who can help with remedies when you're not feeling great uh, emotionally, spiritually, physically? Um, to connect with you, let's say you somewhere out of state or somewhere in other parts of the world, is any tribe in this area? You find out and you connect in such a beautiful, organic way that it's. It's like breathing in yourself, especially if you love yourself. So you're gonna meet some amazing people and have some amazing experiences anytime you connect with tribe. And this, again, is just but a nuance of what is experienced within trial. But, and, with that being said, be mindful of your connection with self, your cycles, and understanding where you are within this whole thing. Where you are, where's your body, where's your, what cycle within your body? When's the last time you fast? Okay, that was a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, a couple years ago. Let me jump on that now. Let me hit some resets on myself. Uh, let me do what I can to get myself back to be fresh for this new trajectory of energy that's aligning itself so perfectly this year within 2020. And uh, you can see it. 2020, clear vision. You can see it. We have like so many celestial um, events coming through. Like we have uh, with Jupiter and Saturn in conjunct three times this year. We have an eclipse, you know, today, uh, or within within now is resonance within like the last 17, 72 hours, something like that. Uh, you have um, a number of things that are lining up so perfectly, and you want to be in the best place energetically possible to receive this abundance. So again, as above, so below. It's abundance up here, abundance here within self. So, and they say as above, so below within your body below your gut your lower intestine and these things manifest upper is a mirror effect like you look at i say remember uh, back in the day ancient times let's say when the, the the waters were still had a mirror reflection of the sky see exactly what's going on exact same thing and it's still that but it just gets a little deeper now so key vibe and the resonance at top speeds uh check out some of the cleanses we have within our shop some of the links will be down below we have some um awesome elix elixirs uh we have some in the full body and uh, full body internal cleanse we have the choline cleanse um if you're in columbia south carolina we actually have an herbalist here in on deck columbia south carolina if you if you from uh, from afar you want to talk to our herbalist hit me up i'll connect you with the brother by the name is i go by solomon um solomon's temple where he's an alchemist you know fifth generation herbalist so any questions on a multitude of levels we got you so keep vibing and resonance at top speed i'm curtis Aru, the reflection of you keep vibing and resonance as you feel the peace, vibrations of harmony, lowness and balance, vibrations, I honor you and your manifestations with lowness and balance. One single vibration. Drive.